So in this video tutorial, I want to go through and show you guys how to imposition uh, a custom size calendar. Um, I also want to go through and show you how to make it two up to use all the space on your page. So we'll start out, I've got a, a PDF already pre-created here, a, an old calendar from 2008. Um, I've already got it open, so we'll go ahead and take a look at it. What we want to do is you want to first take a look at your document that you're trying to imposition. Uh, if you remember when we talked about it, imposition is the process of arranging the pages so that when they fold down and are collated and stapled, that they'll actually come out in order. So this is a calendar that's going to be stapled right here in the middle. Um, we've got it down here. We can check the size, 5.5 by 17.25. No marks. We don't want marks on our PDF, but we do want a bleed. So this actually incorporates a bleed and is expected to trim off an eighth of an inch all the way around on, on all four sides. So hence the 17.25 got the bleed on both sides. We also note that we've got 14 pages here because these are showing uh, two pages per page here. If you look at page one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. We've got all the pages there. So we took a look at our PDF just to get an approximate size. So we'll actually cut that size down by a quarter inch so five and a quarter by 17. Just need a basis to start with so when we go into InDesign we can actually create the right size document. So we'll hide that one, pull up InDesign, I'm gonna go to File, New, and make a new document. We want that document once again to be 5.5 by 17.25. This particular document we do not want facing pages on as it's a calendar, it'll turn top to bottom versus left and right. So typically use facing pages for book only. Uh, if it were something, it would be turned left or right. Uh, margins, half inch margins, good. The bleed, we want that to be 0.125 on all sides. The slug will leave at zero right now. We'll put that in later. Uh, I think I messed up on the height. It actually want this to be 17. So once again, I think that was, I'm gonna double check the PDF. 17 by five and a quarter is what we're looking for. So 5.25 by 17, getting a little bit too fast there. Want to make sure the size is right. Click OK, pops in a new document. First thing we need to do is we need to drag down and make a guide. Two kinds of guides. You can have a guide that's right in the center like so, or you can have a guide that expands all the way out. We want it all the way out so it hits our uh, guide edge there, our bleed edge. So I'm going to undo that because we want this one to actually be at eight and a half. So we can put it right there. I'm just going to drag it down here. You could select it and then type in the height on the Y height here, eight and a half. So we want that directly in the center. So first guide on that. Um, go into your rectangle frame and draw a box like so. Now we could do this all in master pages, but then it becomes difficult to edit. So typically, just do it all on the first page, and we'll get them all here, and then we'll copy down the pages that we need it. So I've got one box. Then I want to go to the regular selection tool, select that, go up to edit, copy, and edit and paste into place. Okay, it looks like nothing happened, but actually there are two boxes there. So if you move that box. It's like magic, you can see that there are two boxes there. So that's what the paste in place did. Uh, we need two boxes, you'll see why here uh, in a minute. So now that I've got my boxes set up, my graphic boxes, or frames I should say, my graphic frames are set up and my guides are set up there, I just want to come down and copy that page. Okay. Once again we can check the PDF to see how many pages we need. You can see that there's 14 pages there you also see that it's up there so 14 pages is what we need I can shift click on page 2 and now I can make a copy of all two pages shift click on page 4 that'll give me 8 and then if I add shift click on 6, 8 and 6 should make 14 and now I've got 14 pages Okay. Now just an indicator that you're on page one that will be highlighted black because I can click on page two but not actually be on page two 
So you actually want to double click on the page that you want to go to to work on. In this case, we want to make sure we're on page one. Uh, or you could just scroll all the way up to the top. Uh, another way that you can get to that page and select that page is by clicking on the box or an element on that page and that will automatically select that page. Okay. So with the black arrow selected, once again, we're on page one. We're going to select our picture frame. Now I happen to have this PDF on my desktop. Uh, you'll need your graphics that you import. They have to kind of, they need to stay with your InDesign document. Uh, if you do not keep them with it, when you link them, you'll have problems when you go to output it, won't put out a high quality image. We're going to do it all at once so it'll make it easy and you can see it. So I'm going to select that box, go to File and Place, the shortcut is Command D, and I'm going to locate on the desktop that calendar file. Now when I select that one, I want to make sure, anytime I import a PDF, I want to double check and make sure I, I check this show import options here. That will allow me to pick anything besides page one. The very first page is always the default page that will come in. If you don't check that, that's all you'll ever get. So we'll select show import options, select the PDF we want, click open. That's going to open up. We're going to get an option here. So this is where you can select the page that you want. Uh, in a previous area, I showed you how to make a dummy. So we'll have to refer to that dummy to figure out what pages go where. As we import this in, that's, that's what we're going to need to be able to import our images in. So we're going to do this crop to crop just to make sure that we've got the right uh, area here. Okay, That's an important part right there. And select the correct page. In this case, we click OK. Now, had we not done that right, now if you get this, I just hit Command Z and it gives you this. That means you either didn't select the box or you hit Command Z after import an image. If you get that option, that can get in the way. If I click here or click in the box, it'll just place it. We do not want to do that. Uh, if you get this, you want to hit Escape to cancel that out, get rid of that picture. Otherwise, you could get put, place that picture in the wrong position it's not going to place in correctly or place in the right position so be careful of that one um, before I do this on page one I only need one box uh, the way I've designed it because there is no back cover so we'll just go ahead and delete that one and that's just specific to this calendar once again that's just on page one go back through import this and we're gonna start on this one again showed it I, I had the import option checked so I get this crop to crop click OK and it should import it in exactly where you need it to be so I'm gonna pause here and go grab my dummy and finish the rest of this tutorial